Okay, we are ha having a battle here. Here. I'm not sure sure about that. <laughs> I mean, this is the beginning of the game, right? Yeah, they are orcs. Strong Lord of the Rings vibe here. <laughs> How about you stay in line? That's a lot of lot of dogs. the bridge and get to the tower of his yeah, that that might be a bit more difficult well no actually because there's a fun going down ouch this is not safe ouch Taken how? The darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Okay. That was fast. Really fast. Ouch. That wasn't good at all. Actually, really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Okay, so let's consider our tactics again okay you attack that guy you go after that guy and you go from the away from the flames nobody sees the mage And that guy would would be rather in a nasty situation. I 
and you are having duel here. Dueling with this with this orcs here. Okay, and you are not doing so hot. Yeah, you, you are not definitely doing so hot. Use the seal. Weakness. So we are going to use so-called uh, Desperate Man Gambit, which includes use of lots of healing potions. He went berserk. Very well. What did recruits see? Oh, plus them two damage versus dark spot. I think we are going to take this with us. Templar Ash Shield. Okay, I can destroy. Well, that's a big guy. What a teeth. What a dentist bill. What a, what manners or lack of them. Okay. So this is the boss fight here. Okay. Without the belt. You thank him. Is there just took a major blow? That's ogre, and I think I saw in a Mass Effect they had like a statue of the ogre, and that's kind of sparking the idea that Mass Effect is actually, or, or this is Dragon Age is actually situated in the same universe than Mass Effect, which is like okay, you can raise, raise the shield. It's going to be. A Dirty fighting, please. Yes. Fire everything. Okay. He's going after our mage. Resisted. Uh. Deadly strike.
massive attack. Weakness. Uh, Alistair, don't die. This is an aura. Okay, he's in, in flames. <laughs> Flame past. Ouch. He's, he's going to die. I don't think he's going to survive. Just for heads up. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ouch. Oh, no. Okay, that's, this is actually rather... He's going down. Dirty fighting. That was in a nick of time. Tower guard is... How many hit points do you have left? Not too many. Okay, change of tactics. Shattering shot. Ouch. That's that wasn't so nice. Well, the good thing is that we are still fighting. And I think we are we are getting him down. How do I remove the heart? <laughs> I need to take a screenshot here. Uh, hide mine may not interface V. Okay, this is going anime. Maybe. Maybe it's not too late. Sound the retreat. All oh, right. S sign of the fire is sign of the retreat or betrayal. He was waiting the pig and to pre betray the king or something. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys. And this is kind of puzzling to me because it it feels l so stupid. But then again, he thought he could be better king. Okay. Brutality. King is dead. No can do.
Ouch. So, is this heaven or, or hell? Okay, it's hell. You were injured and then mother rescued you. Do you not remember? No. <laughs> what what happened to uh, to the army, to the king? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. No doubt. What happened to the Grave Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. <laughs> nice. I... You were welcomed. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. I do not mind. Take your time. Are we, we safe are here? For the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Much, much what higher. A sensible attitude. Mother is seldom sensible, however. Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Are you sure you want me to describe it? Sure. I had a good view of the battlefield. It is a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere and darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. I do not know who this low game even is. Perhaps ask mother of it. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask mother yourself. She may even tell you. I, I, I think I believe the bird the version. With mother, then be on your way. That's really good clothing. Okay, Alistair is alive. And well. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. <laughs> Afraid you were going to be left alone. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all dead. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. <laughs> I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? Witch of the Wilds. And it has served you both well. Bit, as not. A bit of magic. Uh, she needs to be a bit of badass so she can actually rescue us from the top of the tower. Why did you well, save us? We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? My character is a bit like deer in the headlights. That doesn't make any sense. 
Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Arch Demon. What is this Arch it is Demon? Said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Alistar is the real Grey Warden here, not me. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Okay, he's, he's falling apart. Maybe I'll be, I be the leader then. I lost my fiancé before I came here. I know how you feel. Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. Will you help us fight this blight, Flemeth? I am just an old woman who lives in the wild. I know nothing of blights and... Uh -huh. Well... Whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the Dark Spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Red Cliff. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmen. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Keep in mind that Logan was also a horrible man. Yar would never do what Tan Logan did. I know him too well. Uh -huh. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. What about those treaties? There is a smart lass. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Waters do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. <laughs> I'd be happy with stay just <laughs> staying alive. Uh, yes, thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. Beer. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> what makes you think we want her? Um, thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join her us... Her magic will be useful. Even better. She knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Mm, have so I no say in this? No. <laughs> you have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Uh, very well. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. Right. Point. Do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man. Perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. <laughs> Point Mother, taken. This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely mm, Smart woman. All will perish under the blight. Even I. I understand and you wardens do you understand i give you that which i value above all in this world 
I do this because you must succeed. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. I have no problem with your presence if Lester doesn't. From the way he glares, I imagine that answer is clear. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? We need all the help we can get. <laughs> oh, get over yourself, Alistair. If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. Uh. I feel better already. Uh. I may have answers. Ask. Are you really Flemish daughter? She who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not, is what you meant, yes? I'm just she wondering no here, age. Even you, I assure you. Tell me this village. A small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. <laughs> right. Have you never been outside of the world? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared, and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. <laughs> That's not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. What skills do you have exactly? A few spells. A few spells. I am nowhere near as powerful as mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then you can substitute for uh, Alistair. Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least. Fifteen different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. <laughs> Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. A paragon of her kind. Nature of the beast. Broken circle. So, these are objectives we have. Our Eamon of Redcliffe. Or is it Dwarves. Nature of the Beast, Daily Clans, Broken Circle. So, four places we need to visit and every every place has a quest. So it's going to be a, like, a, at least one, one episode for each of these. 
Let's go forward. So, uh, <clears throat> we need to go to the laundering first. And our star story basically starts from there. And appar apparently there's like random encounters on the way. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Or else. Right. Van Teven, please. Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here. Van Teven, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Ah, it's a doggy. Uh, uh oh. Okay, I think I understand. Okay, it's it's our doggy. Oh, <laughs> I hate dogs. Uh, I think this is the map area helped the cure back at the Ostagar. I think he was out there looking for you. Nice. He's chosen you. Babari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. I wanted I almost wanted a dog like this. Please enter the name for the dog. Lenny, I don't know if he's he's or she's. So it's it's Lenny. Yeah, it's a bit scary when, when the game actually does that. Gentlemen, more travelers to attend to, <laughs> led by an elf of all. Okay, casual racism. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. Bit of a mess, isn't it? Not my
much get past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, you <laughs> see. Do shut up. Even a genlock would have understood that. Forget yeah, it. I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. Intimidate. Did she say she's a grey warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But aren't them grey wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. Good thinking. You know the grey warders could use that donation. Don't say. <laughs> Ah, this is, this is well, golden. Yes, 20 silvers, that's all we've collected today. <laughs> An excellent donation, thank well, you. Take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, they murdered that Templar. There it is. Lothering. Could you repeat it? Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seems like too much trouble, I take <laughs> it. it might be I, I love this too. To understand. Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Huh. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Ah. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. We should try and use these treaties. I agree. Have you looked at them? No, not there yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Major. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Is there a way to contact Grey Not Warders? leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weissalp's Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. I can give you directions, if you like. You'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Basilian Forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. That will be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Logain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. I yeah, don't know. I see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. You there. If you're looking for something, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm just out here to keep an eye out for Darkspawn. 
Please ask someone in town. No offense. The ban has marched north with Tern Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, but the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Ah, toast bandits. Ooh, clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Lamp. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. Ah, right, the elves. You understand. Here's 50 silver. Thank you. That's... Very kind. Bless you, I knew another elf would help us. I shall do it. I'm cold. I don't like you. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your cart. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods, and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together. <laughs> <laughs> right. Alistair. There. Warmth of hearts. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Uh-huh. Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to stop business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You don't think you are being unscrupulous. I don't know what that means, but let's de help these test it. They, could buy no goods at all. they spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silver. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Intimidate or oh, persuade. Intimidate, lower your prices or lose your goods. Maker's breath. Sometimes it's truly not worth operating this far south. Just charge what you would have before this tragedy. Ah, yes. Just stop complaining. You're giving me a headache. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. <laughs> Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. As you say. Mother, where are you? Very well. Okay, you stayed behind here. For some reason. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. <laughs> that does, does sound something you oh, would do. I truly doubt that children would be worth the effort. They are filthy, smelly things full of tears and snot and trouble. That said, I cannot speak for the taste of my mother. She has, after all, lived a very lengthy time in the wilds. 
and done many things I know nothing of. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can you change into hu other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. So how did you become a uh, spider? So answer, no, my human form is the only one I possess. Can anyone become shape anyone changer? Anyone sufficient will, but the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talent. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. There were nights when the wilds called to me. Tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf. Listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? <laughs> that would just make you angry, I think. No doubt it would. Huh. Enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost him, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I... Like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to see him. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. He saved your life by sending you to the tower. Yes. No, I think he came from Hyeba, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about picking up something in his honor. Have you had someone close to you die? I al already died. told you about that. <laughs> I saw plenty of death in the alienage. Yes, I, I suppose you must have. I, I can't even imagine, really. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Maybe I'll go however with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Okay. Come on. The chanters are still operating their board. And I lean spoke unto the masses, my half is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Side quests, bandits. Kill a bandit. Sure. Of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. <laughs> Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dog spawn hands. There, one of them 
minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Watch where you throw accusations, fool. Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! That's enough descents now. Don't be a fool, Dash Punk. We can beef it you. No, I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! You poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dark spawn. How did you escape? I I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Scaring these people won't get her back. You, you were right. I will go. Ah, base, base. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope, master your courage. Best to be nice to people. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. The evil shall descend upon us! Okay. Interesting. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Maybe. Prayer candles. I I actually like how how detailed this religion is in this game. There's word of dark spawn striker. No sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. Okay, you have like what? Five Make Templars. Ambitions. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. The, the Grey Wardens did not know such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. How do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Are you only protecting Our this village's hands? Our was summoned by Tan Logain as he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. In her study, no doubt, preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Your prince? Sir? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donald. May I introduce my fellow Grey Wardens? We are the last two in Ferelden, as far as I know. Terrible news indeed. Pleased to meet you, my lady. Might I know your name? I trust you are staying discreet with the bounty placed on your heads. 
We've heard the accusations, <laughs> but he's the one who betrayed the king. If our Eamon were well, he'd set Lothain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what do you mean? Hmm? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. Ah. Have found no cure, either natural or magical. How convenient. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Interesting. Only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Uh huh. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Tell me more about this urn. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed. Uh, I think he's dead. <laughs> Your friend Sir uh, Henrik is dead. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Some bandits. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. I was hoping to meet our human. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Cairn Logain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I am the revered mother of this chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? 30 silver. Um, that is quite bad number. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I only have 10 silver. Well, there are 30 you. silver it is. What can I do for you then? A grey warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Logain declared the grey wardens to be outlaws. Tern Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else, I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. Well, this village is not safe now, <laughs> at all. If there is nothing else? For a Grey Warden? Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over her path, O Maker. Give her light in darkness. So let it be. Now, if there is nothing else, may the Maker guard you, Grey Warden.
then shall the chant of light make it pure. Let all mankind be humble. Let all repeat the chant of light. Black, black folks. Ah, I don't have a skill. Words of fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out for 